Hey guys, Britta here, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 and our John Deere Rags Riches series here at Mercury Farms. You might see, um, we have a big John Deere 9R here and a big plow. I went and discussed with the bank that we want to we wanna go big. I'm sick of being a small company. Um, the economy is slowly becoming better and better and we want to expand as quickly as possible. So they gave us a loan of 500000 um, we managed to pick up this, well not this field I guess, this area here, 232,000. And um, I spoke to uh, Rebecca and Noah back at the store and told them what we're plan is here, plowing this, turning it into a massive corn field to do silage and stuff, to try and help produce silage for the local I don't know, dairy farms, that sort of stuff that are in the area obviously they're not really local but they're close close by the other dairy farms so they said they could get us a John Deere 9R with a massive plow I feel like a big massive plow um, <laughs> um, to get us to hopefully turn all this stuff into a big massive cornfield so this area here had no fields on it at all so we are gonna turn this into a field so we need to set ourselves up at 180 degrees you see the bottom left there we do like the manual GPS sort of keep ourselves on the right the right path so we've got the massive as I said the massive John Deere 9R it's a big piece of kit it really is a massive tractor I want to get rid of it for a second so I can get a pretty good screenshot here. Something like that. There we go. Get it back up. As long as they're like 179, 180-ish. So I think we're sort of going off track a little bit there. But it's not too bad. So I want to do a full run down. A run to the right. A run back up. And a run back across. Try and square the field up as best as I can. And then um, I have... Our, was our 1440 up there, I think it is. John Deere tractor with um, a new planter on the rear. So I'm hoping um, we'll be able to get the planter on the rear end of, of that to actually work. It's not a modded planter, but because that tractor is so high, sometimes it just doesn't work. It's only a three meter wide planter, so it's going to take a while to get this fully planted, but Obviously, once we've got this turned into a massive field, this 9R and this plough will return. So the reason why I got the 3 metre planter was to allow us to use the culti plough and the cedar on the back. So what we do on these other fields and um, get it all done in one big go. Alright, there we go. So that's the first pass. Now, I don't know how I'm going to go with lining this up because these trees are here. Potentially we can buy these other fields next door as well but it's a matter of um, actually you know what we can do we can just drop this down and I'll just do the best we can and we can square the field up using um, uh, the obviously ground texture editing tool so we can come back down to here and we can try and edit this out to make it straight so it doesn't matter too much I guess but I want to sort of try and square it up as best as possible going to leave a bit of a gap between us and um, the trees and then head back up the hill so I'm thinking probably around about there hoping that'll be not too bad and then we'll set ourselves up to head back up the field and we're going to have to come back with a plough and sort of touch it up a little bit but it shouldn't be too bad right, so 360 you want to make sure that our plough 
Um, so as I said, if we go right back to the start here, drop it here, and then just go at 360 or 0 degrees or whatever, get straight up the field, we can fix that up with um, the editing of the ground texture and square that field right up. Alright, so we'll have to... Well, that corner's not too bad. So if we stop here for a second, I can show you what I mean by squaring this field up. So if we move ourselves forward like this, run across to the left, every time it drops down, I'll just move it back up. Like that. There we go. So that's a perfectly square field on that end. And we'll go up to here, we'll run through, we might fix this corner up, and then we can get um, our John Deere other harvester up here, get him down here, harvester, or other tractor there get him to start seeding with some corn while we finish off turning it into a complete field and then um, we'll have to come back and lime it uh, we'll have to come back and fertilize it you know all that good stuff to get all that done as well I don't know if we'll have enough time this episode to get the whole thing ploughed but um, we'll see how we go I'm starting to get off track a little bit here It doesn't matter too much. I'm not too concerned. Sort of keep our nose in between. You can sort of see between both of the textures there. Keep heading back up the field. So I have um, put the sound back up to 60% from what we have with our other series at New Woodshire, with our case series, because that case tractor is bloody loud so these ones aren't quite as loud so I'll put it back up to 60% and then when we go back to the other the other game I'm gonna to have to try and remember to put it back to how it was so I'm gonna to have to try and work out roughly where our line is it's gonna be hard to see because of the tree Okay, so let me turn the plough over. We'll head back the other way, head back that way. And we can do the same again, as I said. Sort of straighten it up. How we sort of want it to be. So let's just drop the plough here. And um, I'll head back down this way, just following this line here. But then I'll square the field off using the same technique we did at the other end. And then we'll come back and um, get this guy moving. Hasn't got a very big um, tank for planting, so we might have to fill it up a couple of times. So I'm going to have to probably purchase a trailer with a... Um, us having to probably get some more seeds and stuff sort of delivered. So right, there we go. That'll do. I think I'll turn around and head back up and just sort of square that field off in this corner. Just run it through so it sort of joins something like that. There we go. Now I can turn the plough back over. We can head back down the field this way. Obviously, we need to sort of um, maybe maybe we should look at. just going back this way again 
doing a run at each end of the field to allow us to sort of get it a bit better at the other end I'm hoping I need to touch that spot up that was terrible so hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series um, I do apologize we sort of had um, during the school holidays with my daughter it's still school holidays now but I've sort of taken a week off from this series just to have a bit of a break and also focus a little bit of time on um, not just like family and holidays and stuff but um, the new series as well so I sort of made sure I was recording that before anything else to get that new series up and running and um, just sort of plan to take a week off this series and then come back to it so hopefully you guys don't mind I know you guys probably are okay with it you guys are a pretty cool community and are very very supportive and I really really appreciate it it um, does mean a lot to me for you know how supportive you guys actually are it's really really good it's good to see um, all right so let's go um, up this end and we'll square this up so let's straight down through here I have to move this way. There we go. Beautiful. So that's nice and square. Let's leave that tractor running. We'll go and jump in this guy and we can get this guy set up ready to go. He's still pretty bloody filthy, as you can see. So it's got a little bit of fertilizer in it, a little bit of corn. I don't know how far it's going to go. But um, we'll have to. I guess just wait and see. Is that going to work? Let's go hire a worker. Lillian is blocked. There we go. I don't know why I didn't get that bit, but hopefully that'll work behind this tractor. We'll have to wait and see. All right. Keep going with you. Follow Lillian down the field. And get it all sort of filled in. So as I said, it's going to take... Ah, it's missing bits. I don't know if it's that tractor or what. But I think... Um, let's have a look. Garage. 100 horsepower. Uh, what's our other tractor? 105. So our other tractor can take care of it. We'll see how this one goes. There's too many missed bits. We might have to grab the other tractor and bring him over. As much as I love this guy, it's just... Yeah, it's too high. I know long term we sort of want to expand out into getting uh, there's none in here the medium size so 6r or 6m we expand into these guys and even the 6r and that sort of stuff so i don't know i think that's one yeah that's one we've got i don't know what the difference is really in height we'd have to put a sort of buy both and put them side by side and see what the difference is but certainly missing little bits and pieces here and there which is really strange. Uh, let's unhire for a minute. There we go. Let's drop this off. Swing this around. Cycle through to our mower. Drop the mower off underneath. Oop. It's always hard to get off the mower. There we go get you to come over and um, use this tractor instead of that one and see if that helps I don't know where is the access to the field down here is there an access down here somewhere I don't think there is the only access I've used so far is right up the other end of the field so we have to do similar to what we did on this other side and cut a hole a hole. Let's move you off the road first. Cut a hole here somewhere. Go there. Where's the next one? Right there. Go 
Yeah, that should be big enough for now. Let's get you out of the way. Get you out of the way as well. A half decent gap. So you've probably already seen that we do have a forage harvester as well. Ready to go. When the time is right, of course. There you go, I think that's going to be a lot better. We've already used 20% of the corn though, so... Oh, this thing needs a bit more front weight. We'll just leave it on the ground, I think that might help. There we go, hire you. Jump back into you. Keep going. And we got helper now. Lillian again, she's back. So that's probably going to do a lot better job than the other tractor. Which is a bit of a shame, but we're going to have to put in like somewhere to be able to purchase seeds and stuff down here. Maybe like over near those trees. The trees will stay, we're not going to cut them down. We're going to leave them there, so... I might put like a, a similar seed thing to what we have over there, over here. Let's try and... Do a run. Oh, why did it miss that little bit? Do a run this way. And then we'll come back and continue on from there and head back up the field again. So I know it's probably going to be quite a um, boring episode. Nothing exciting going on, but I've got to get this field turned into a field and planted with corn and fertilized, limed all that sort of stuff and then um, we can sort of look at what we need to do from there all right, let's do that and let's um, turn the plow over and head back up the other way so drop the plow down touch up that little bit that we missed I bet you we're gonna you are still going to miss that spot. Right, get these spots. Right, there we go. Head back up the other end. Right, so we'll sort of line ourselves up reasonably well. There we go. Now if you look at, um, as I said, our miscellaneous so we've got our seed hut and fertilizer hut here but we've got also well actually I don't think I've, I haven't put the American stuff in here we don't have it so I think we'll just go with um like the seed hut down here as I said um somewhere sort of down uh, so let's put it along the side here somewhere Fertilizer hut, turn you around as well. Put you. Let's go like right next door. That was terrible lining up, wasn't it? Bloody terrible. Alright, let's go back up. Where's our tractor disappeared to? Uh, hello? Where the hell are you going? See, it's probably going to be a bit of a pain now because we don't have enough weight in the front end of this thing to hold it down. Oh, there we go. I just have to set them up at e either end. Elizabeth is here to help now. We're going to just have to bite the bullet and get like a 6R or a 6M or something and get rid of both of these guys. Um, so you're going to give us 23,000, so that'll take us up to 100. We don't have enough 119 we need. And I can't loan any more, so unless we can sell something else, which we probably really can't. 
Um, we're sort of stuck with what we've got at the moment. So we make a little bit more money. Alright, so we'll drive through the end here. Pick it up, turn it over, and we'll head back down. So it'd be good to be able to hire a worker to do this. We could set the outside of the field there and then have um, a worker go from there, but hired workers can't create fields. That's the problem that we have, so sort of just have to go with what we've got at the moment. As far as loan goes, maximum loan, half a mil. Borrowed everything we can. So we just have to start making some money. This silage, we should make some decent money out of this silage. We're also going to need to look at, um, obviously, um, takes forage. It does. We can put forage straight in there. That's a um, little bunker silo. We're not going to use that one because that's a paint. This is, this must be, um, one for the map, it's just a different colour compared to normal. It's like a yellow instead of a... Oh, you bastard. <laughs> it's just a yellow instead of like the grey colour. Okay, so it turned around. Oh, I've no idea what it's done at the end of the field there. It's sort of gone all weird. guess that's because it's kind of rear heavy. So as much as I like that tractor there, it's just not going to do what needs to be done really for our future. So I think we really need to do, we really are going to need to get a 6M or a 6R or something along those lines. Still got a few more bales over there I haven't sold yet. So we need to sort of go and pick those up, take them over and sell them over there. That'll bring in another oh, 7 or 8 grand maybe for that. So. That might get us close to getting the 6M. Alright, there we go. Turn around, head back up again. Hopefully line ourselves up better than what we did on the way up last time. Let me just quickly cycle through. Take the hide worker off. I think we'll turn around and set them up to go back down. All right, let's go. There we go. going to take, as I said, a fair while to get this field done. We're really going to need to I said, get rid of that tractor and get into the other one. 6M to at least get it get this seeded a little bit quicker. I think, if I have a quick look, let's go 6M, where are you? 6R 6M it does have a front loader attachment. It does, yep, good. Because that's what we need. We need a front loader attachment as well. So it'll certainly take care of our problems. So let's reset you back to the shop because we will sell you back at the shop. So the um, forage, forage harvest that we've got is the John Deere 8000 series. I have used this before um, and it didn't quite work properly. I did purchase uh, this, the Zern Profi Cut 620 to just be able to cut grass, but it doesn't cut grass, it doesn't pick up grass, it doesn't do anything, so I don't know if it's fixed or not. Um, I didn't try and cut grass from my field. I tried to cut grass from around my field over there and it didn't work, so that's why I've decided to go with corn here instead of doing it as grass. Um, 
I'll stop you for a second. All right, backwards, we need to go. Let's turn this on and get this little bit done here that we missed before. Go back down and set you off again. We're going to have to fill up with some more seed again in a second. Right, so off you go. Um, you're here. Where's our cell point? That's the next question. It's straight through the doors there, isn't it? It's quite dirty. Probably needs a wash before we sell it, but... No one knows that we've certainly taken care of it. So hopefully he's going to give us a good price for it. So g'day. G'day. 27,948. Doesn't really do much, but we'll get rid of it. 107,000. What do we need? We're so close. Like 111? No, 119 we do. Okay, so a little bit off yet. So it should be out of seed soon, I think. There we go. I'll lift you up, turn you over. See, we're going to need to grab um, I don't still don't think we'll have enough, even if we do grab those um, bales over there. The only thing we can probably do is maybe lease it for now and then buy it after. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at the 6R. If we're going to lease it, let's look at the 6R instead. It's double the price, but it's a lot more horsepower, which we don't really need. We don't need the horsepower at the moment. So let's go, yes. Um, we'll just go wide tyres. Don't really need the weights. So we'll leave that as standard. Configuration standard, but you want the front load attachment, knock in or Trelleborg wide. Let's go lease. I'll right, shut you down for a second. So we'll pick him up and bring him back. So we are going to buy one of these. It's just going to take us a little bit of time to actually get the money to be able to purchase one. Fortunately, I thought we might have had the money now to purchase one, but we don't, so we'll just lease it. We'll use it, we'll return it when we have enough money to buy our own. And um, go from there. Now, one thing I need to look at is, did we put... We did, the grass patch in. That's what we need to fill, fix up the grass around our field down here as well. Because we're still going to be able to come back and cut the grass and do those things we need to do. I am going to look at buying the mowers, the John Deere mowers as well. So um, while we're sort of on a straight line, what I want to do as well is return this guy because we're not going to use that anymore. Um, I think... Did we... No, okay, we didn't. Oh, there it is. Return you as well. So we no longer have that guy to cut grass, so we're going to turn away from the grass for now. Focus on just our two fields and then our corn field as well for our silage. So we'll turn this into like a uh, John Deere silage farm, I guess. We will expand maybe into cows and stuff as well. Um, as far as our... Uh, not Mercury Farms, New Woodshire case series goes. A lot of you guys have said there is a lot of cotton in certain parts of America, so yeah, and they do use the case it's a big square cotton baling collecting machine thing, so we might um, not only focus on cows on that series, but we might focus on cotton as well, so cotton's probably going to be the first thing we sort of delve into getting cotton sort of started we will probably need to lease a cotton harvester to start with because we're not going to be able to afford one they are quite bloody expensive 
is our timer going off? But um, yeah, as far as the case series goes, we'll do cotton. This one we'll do silage and cattle. And um, then we'll go from there, I guess, and see what um, see what else we can get ourselves into. That is quite interesting. Those pipes there. Look at that. That's cool. I haven't actually seen this thing up close. It sort of puts fertilizer in one side and seeds in the other. That is really cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't move it while we're moving. But does it move? Does it do it while we're filling up? Fertilizer? No, it doesn't. That's a shame. That'd be pretty cool if it did. Like this to see the seed sort of getting thrown in there. That'd be really cool. Right here, guys. What I'll do is I'll end the episode here. I'll get this finished off. Um, I'll get the worker to continue on seeding and get all this done. We might come back next episode and look at lime, lime spreading the field, fertilizing the field, letting it sort of start to grow. And I think then the next day we'll be able to harvest as well as that big harvest over here. So we're going to have plenty to do. We are starting to get really, really busy, which um, is a good thing. But um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, as always, smash the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far, and if you like the idea of going and turning ourselves into a silage farm, and then maybe looking at um, cattle later on, you guys let me know. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brudo, thanks for watching. See you again soon.